A deadly day in Chicago. Just before 7 a.m., the Chicago Fire Department was called to an abandoned building on Chicago's south side. Companies immediately went to work to uh, extinguish the fire, and they were making good progress. And it was then when a wall of brick collapsed, forcing the ceiling to fall down, crushing the firemen. Despite our best efforts at the scene and at both hospitals, two of our firefighters succumbed to their injuries. We lost two of our own. In total, 19 firefighters were hurt when the roof collapsed. And even in the dangerous profession of firefighting, a day like this hurts bad. You know, it hurts. Every single time it hurts. It takes a little piece of you away. Hardens you. Get back on the rig and you wait for the next run. We'll do it again. I don't know. Uh, hasn't hit me yet, I guess. I, I can't. When he shuts it down, we'll just roll it up, leave it in the street, and then we'll back up and grab him and back our way out of here, huh? The cause of the fire is undetermined, but some say squatters may have started it. The two firefighters who perished were identified as Edward Stringer, a 12-year veteran, and 34-year-old Corey Ankum, who recently joined the force two years ago. Every firefighter that was there did their best they could to save their brothers. And I could say our major concern right now is our families. Thank you. So I can tell you. In Chicago, Robert Ray, The Associated Press.